Meghan Markle is having a sleepover on royal train with the Queen, and Kate Middleton must be well gel. Meghan Markle is to ditch Prince Harry for the first time to do a royal engagement, and will be even have a sleepover with the Queen. The royal pair will set off today and spend the night on the luxury royal train as they travel to Cheshire for Thursday morning. The Swiss royal train has nine carriages and Meghan will stay in one of the Ensuite bedrooms and dine in the 12-seater dining room. The trip is a huge honor for Meghan as it is understood that even Prince Harry and Kate Middleton have not had a ride on board. Typically a London to Runcorn train journey takes around two hours, but the prestigious sleeper train travels a lot slower than the high-speed alternatives. The pair have opted for the royal train as the Queen is said to prefer making long-distance journeys overnight instead of waking up early morning. Meghan will get plenty of quality time with her new grandmother-in-law before officially opening the Mercy Gateway Bridge in Wittens and the Story House Cultural Center in Chester. The royal pair will watch a performance by a dance company called Fallen Angels, which runs for recovering addicts. Next on the agenda is a medley of songs from the Story House's latest production A Little Night Music, and then they will see local school kids perform songs with actors from Swallows and Amazons. They will also enjoy a slap-up lunch at Chester Town Hall to conclude their outing together. The royal train launched in 1842, when Queen Victoria was on the throne and even puts the Orient Express to shame with its stunning smoking room with ornate gold fittings. Described as Buckingham Palace on wheels, the sumptuous train was brought into service because Victoria disliked traveling by coach. Since then the royal family have used it for extended holidays around the country, and they travel in style, as do their staff. The Queen's Day quarters were updated in 1977, before Queen Elizabeth embarked on the Silver Jubilee Tour, and the old one was given to the National Railway Museum. Meals are cooked by a full kitchen staff and are cooked to the standard expected in the royal palaces, and there's a rota of 150 special drivers who are allowed to take the controls. The Queen's private quarters are 75 feet long, are covered in plush carpet, feature paintings of Scottish landscapes by Roy Penny and has secondary air suspension to ensure Her Majesty has a smooth ride. There are no double beds on board, and Meghan will spend the night on a three-feet-wide bed that is clad in cotton sheets and woolen blankets. There is a sitting room, which comes complete with a sofa, velvet cushions, and a small table used by the Queen and Prince Philip for breakfast. In 2017, the royals traveled on the royal train 14 times, which cost the taxpayer around £900,000.